Thank you to Private Internet Access VPN for sponsoring today's video. Did you know that thousands of players just got their account reset in GTA Online for doing glitches? So today, we're gonna do some glitches. <laughs> I know, that sounds terrible. But every few months, we dive into the depths of the horrid place that is GTA Online TikTok because it's kind of funny. People will do anything for a few likes on social media. So today, we're gonna try some of the most ridiculous money glitches and see if any of them actually work. If you enjoy this video, a thumbs up will be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this and let's jump in. To start us off, we're starting off with a crazy GTA money glitch. Got 112,000 likes. Let's see. All right, we're looking at the garage full of vigilantes going to our phone. Internet. Okay. That guy, he's got no money. <clears throat> Type kings. Okay, so we've done a kings. We tried a kings glitch before. That was probably almost a year ago. Sign up now. Yep. Just add money. Simple as that. You know, just let the game know how much money you want. Answer yes to all of the questions by the looks of it. And now you're a billionaire. Simple as that. I don't remember last time we did this if we answered yes to all of the questions. So we're going to try that this time and see if it works. Let's go. All right, here we are. On PC. So, Kings. That's the one. Sign up now. What's your total debt? So he just put like nines in. Yeah, let's just do that. As much money as possible. Love that. Don't think he answered that one. So we go yes for all of them. Do we need to enter? Oh, we do need to enter this. Ah, uh, let's just go anything. All right. Click here to find out if you qualify. Let's get rich. Come on. No, no, it didn't work. Is anyone surprised? I mean, come on, man. Your debt will be fully paid off by the year 3 to 11. 30 to 11. What's that? 1,200 years away. All right, next up with 159,000 likes. Deleting in 24 hours secret money location. Okay. Just go here. Wherever this is. Walk in and we've just got a hundred action figures on the ground. Yeah, sure, with yep, five, six high roller outfits and infinite money. You know what, man? Let's give it a go. This is dumb. This is dumb. Let's just give it a go anyway. Let's head out there. All right, we've got to head way out here. That's a long flight ahead of us. Let's go. Okay, well, I'm here. And I need to do a gang attack first, I guess. I, I don't know, man. I'm going to take these guys out. Wait, I'm going too far from the gang attack. That can work. Good. Does that mean it's gone? I think that means it's gone. All right. Mission failed successfully. All right. So just a, like a hundred action figures should be right here. Yeah. Through this door. Yeah. And to no one's surprise, welcome to the cap store. Yeah. That one's, that one's fake. How to get a hundred million dollars in GTA and in brackets, easy. Just, just so we know it's easy. All right, go here. Polito Bay. Watch till the end to get easy monies. I want easy monies. Fly up really high. Okay. And you get high up enough. Jump. Okay. Make sure to glide into here. Right through the window. Okay. Now copy exactly what I do. Pull out the Molotov. Throw it at the corner. Now stand in the fire, throw a sticky bomb. Now once you respawn, you should get this. Man, you know what? I'm tired of you! I'm tired of this shit! Nine dollars. And it's, it's so... <laughs> he didn't even try to put the correct font or anything. He just said, screw it, man. Screw it, you've watched this far. You know, I'll just I'll just put whatever at the end. It doesn't matter. You've already watched the video. You know, should I do it for fun? 
Should I? I'll do it for fun. You know what? I'll do it. I'll try and make that jump just for fun. We'll see how we go. Okay, I I'm trying to find out which window it actually is. I'm pretty sure we have to get in the bottom right window. I see the one. I can do that. I'm something of a parachuter myself. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Are you okay? Look, there's a bit of blood, but we're fine. We're in. Do I have a Molotov? Yes. Okay. Throw a Molotov at the corner. Now stand in it. Throw a sticky bomb. Okay, so I should get nine bucks now. I want my nine dollars. Where is it? Come on, man. At least if I do all that, at least give me nine bucks. I just lost 400 for dying. Like... Alright, well, I mean, that was kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed that. That was a good prank. If you aren't gaming with a VPN in 2022, then you're gaming wrong. Privacy is more important than ever, and not only is a VPN great for online privacy, it's also an essential item in a gamer's toolkit. And that's why I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Private Internet Access. Using PIA's VPN can give you faster speeds and a lowered ping in cases of ISP throttling. And I was actually really surprised to see my ping drop once I connected to the VPN. It was pretty cool. This will also let you access geo-locked games and content. So for you guys that play GTA Online and can't access the casino because of your country's gambling laws, this could help you get around that problem. PIA also protects me from mid-game DDoS attacks and other forms of IP-based cyberbullying. So anytime you see me on GTA Online on PC or whenever I'm streaming, I'm definitely gonna have this on. Not only does PIA give you unrestricted access to all your favorite content across all of your major streaming services, it's also one of the few VPNs that fully supports P2P file sharing and torrenting. The VPN is 100% open source and the code is public, so you can have a look under the hood for yourself and see how secure and private the service really is. PIA uses world-class next-gen server infrastructure in over 75 countries and their token-based dedicated IPs give you 100% anonymity. The software also blocks ads, trackers, and malicious websites, all while helping you to safeguard your online privacy. You can use one private internet access subscription to protect up to 10 devices at one time, along with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. PIA is available for all platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Android, Linux, iOS, and many more. And they accept a wide range of payment methods, including cards, PayPal, gift cards, and even cryptocurrencies. So if you're looking to safeguard yourself online, click the link in the description below and get increased digital privacy for less than $2.11 a month for the two-year plan, plus three months free, which is 82% off. So click that link and thank you to PIA for sponsoring today's video. What am I about to watch? Most efficient ways of getting money in GTA part 172? Bro, what are you doing? Most efficient ways of getting money in GCA. And why is Rick here? Just go ahead and buy yourself a base bank building on your phone. Once you buy this, go ahead and go inside it, go to the top, go to the computer, buy yourself a vehicle warehouse. Once you buy yourself a vehicle warehouse, okay. you would actually want to go to the vehicle warehouse and buy yourself cars. So this isn't a glitch. I'm telling you this is a great business. What, what, what is going on? What's going on? Bro, oh my. Don't, I don't know if you want to trust legit money making methods from someone who's driving around in that in a red gyrosphere. Okay, I don't know. But yes, that is a decent way to make money. It's not the best, though. It's actually not even close to the best, but it is pretty decent. Let's go on to the next one. All right. How to get $2.1 million. Get any LS Customs, steal any car. You have to push the vehicle to get inside. Yep. Now, we've done stuff like this before. None of them have worked. Get your phone out. Use the Gerald mission, come back. Okay, steal another car. Push the car in and then change to the color of the team. Okay, this seems really complicated. Also subscribe, subscribe to this channel, obviously, obviously. It's an important step. Steal any car and get G how many cars you need to steal, man. And sell it. You get 2.1 mil. Okay. 
I'm gonna need to like watch this three more times so I remember all those steps because that was really complicated. But uh, I guess we can give it a go. Step one: grab our car and drive it in. Okay. Then we'll leave it like right here. Now step two: grab a car off the street and push that in. Hey, I'm watching a dude. You watch a dude. Thank you for the car. I'll give it back if I don't sell it. I don't think I'm gonna sell it, so you probably get this back. What? Hang on a minute. Guess we'll guess we'll do that again. You're trying to lock me out. Closing the door on me. Oh, hang on, we're gonna back this up. Need a bit more force to get in here. That'll do. Surely I'm in. There we go. Uh, yeah, just drive over it. It's fine. Uh, it's insured. Don't stress. It is upside down though. That's not ideal. Uh, okay, we'll repair it. And then we back out, open our phone, and join the Gerald mission. Start this job, then back out straight away. Okay, we back out. Let me out. Okay. Now we steal another car. Okay, so we steal another car. These instructions are really unclear. So we change... Oh, see, my car is getting... Ah, oh, come on. Uh, we're back. We're backing out. Are we okay. We backed out, but we're we're back in. All right. Change to the color of the team, which for him was blue. So I'm assuming it was blue for us. We we don't know. Where's blue? Just standard blue will do. Back out. Okay. Now we have to steal another car and then sell it. And apparently we're gonna get 2.1 million dollars. Hey mate, this is an expensive looking car. This car looks like it's 2.1 million dollars, mate. What do you reckon? Don't swear at me. All right, let's sell this for 2.1 mil. My car is still in the way, upside down. Just back it out, it's fine, man. All right, 2.1 million. Yeah, we're a bit short. But I'm gonna take the cash anyway because I'm not getting nothing for that. That was a lot of effort and I at least want some sort of money for all that work. So I'll take that $8,000 and move on to the next glitch. All right, this is a copyrighted song, so I'm gonna have to mute this, but we're going over here with an up and atomizer. All right, what are we doing? We're launching ourselves into this fence, or into the cage, I should say, and we're gonna phase through it. This seems like it should work. Let's, let's give it a go. If you're wondering why I have uh, a one-star wanted level and a bunch of people coming after me on the minimap, that's because I'm a terrible pilot. So I'm gonna get another helicopter and try this again. I'm also really bad at parachuting, if you couldn't tell from earlier in the video. Little baseball field. All right. So basically, we should be able to up and atomizer ourselves right through this this net or this cage. Get on home base. And then we just, we just launch ourselves. Oh, we are bugging a little bit there. Okay, let's, let's get the, the angle right. Oh, that's re Oh, yeah. What is going on? Oh, man. Can we actually get through it, though? I want to get through it. Oh, it's destroying my health. We did it, though. We got through. That's kind of funny though, that's kind of cool. I like that. I, I feel like every single glitch that isn't a money glitch seems to work. Yeah, anything that's a money glitch, it just, it's not seeming like it's working. But these kind of ones are pretty funny though, so I don't mind these. And for the final glitch of the video, 99% of GTA players don't know this. Come to the shoot, okay bro, your spell, yeah okay, righto, jeez. Shoot that guy, go to this window, and boost yourself inside. Shoot the sign. Okay, yep, we're through here. Now we can climb over the wall. Okay. Jump into the black room and go first person. So this is a wall breach inside the shoe store. Or as my, uh, my older lads know it, the I definitely don't need 
to put a waypoint on this. I know where it is. But let's uh, let's drop in. Right, we've got to shoot the guy out front. No hey, mate. Guns here, okay? No guns in here? I don't like that rule. Alright, get the up and atomizer. Hey, get out, ladies. Get out before it gets a, a bit too dangerous in here. I actually did that first go. I'm kind of happy with that. Alright, through the window. Up here. Over this way. Up. Nice. Dude. Okay, he slipped. Just a bit slippery. It's alright. Up here. Up here. Okay. Yeah, it's... I wanted to jump off that ledge anyway. It's all good. I wanted to get at this guy. Yeah, no, no, no. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, we got that. Very nice. I feel like we can just walk across this like forever. Now we just jump into this black room. Just like that. There's a there's a door here. I guess. Are we in Is this the wall breach? Oh then we gotta go first person mode. Of course, of course. Whoa! So when you go in third person, it looks like this. But first person. Everything changes. Whoa, that's buggy as. But I guess this is... Yeah, this is it. This is the wall breach. I mean, that's pretty cool. This looks so strange in third person, though. Dude, this looks so weird. This looks so eerie. Like, only half the textures have loaded in. See, like, what? Okay, there's a girl here and a, and a dude on the floor, but we can't see that in third person. But if I switch back to first person, I just killed someone. Wow. This is kind of cool. I kind of like this. That's a neat little, little wall breach. What's up, fishies? Can I kill the fish? No. Fishes are OP, man. What's on the menu? Just the dress code, the hours. They close at 4 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. All right. Anyway, we'll wrap the video up there. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.